Hi everyone, my name is Dulcima the Fairy, and today I'm going to read you a story about cats. The House of Cats Long, long ago, back when animals could talk just as well as people can, there was a little town where a colony of cats all lived together in a grand house on the main street. It was the biggest and most beautiful house in town, and hundreds of cats lived there, sleeping on the big four-poster beds and silken cushions during the day, and venturing out at night to hunt for mice, rats, and any other prey they could find. Although the cats lived very happily together, and did not fight as much as you would expect, they were not very good at doing any housework. Their paws could not hold a broom or a scrubbing brush, and they produced a huge amount of cat hair and scratched up all the furniture, as well as having a giant litter box the size of a whole room that needed changing every day, and water bowls that needed filling. They also preferred to have their meat cooked rather than raw, and needed a human to go shopping for it in the town, because although they caught their own rats and mice, they couldn't catch things like fish, cows and pigs, let alone cook them, and those were their favourites. The cats found it very hard to keep a servant, because they were difficult to please. Also, their servant often found it difficult to be the only human among so many cats. The cats were always on the lookout for a nice human who would take care of the housework and cooking, and who would also pet and play with the cats without tiring of them. In the town, there lived a young woman called Lizina, who was very unhappy at home. Her mother was much fonder of Lizina's older sister, who was a most unpleasant girl named Pepina. Lizina had to do all the housework, while Pepina was spoiled and sat around all day eating candy. At last, the day came when Lizina grew tired of this treatment and decided to leave home and find another place to live. She had heard that the House of Cats was looking for a servant, and so she went there immediately. As soon as she arrived, she was warmly welcomed, because the last servant had just quit in a rage. She started to prepare dinner for the cats, which was difficult when so many of them were weaving in between her legs and sitting on the kitchen counters, but she managed it, and the cats were very happy with the result. Lizina enjoyed her new life as the cat's servant. She cared for the little kittens, she patched up quarrels, she nursed the sick ones, and untangled the knots in the furry ones' tails. The house had never been so clean, the meals so well prepared, nor the cats so well cared for. After a while, the cats had a visit from the oldest and wisest cat of all, who was as big as a human and lived by himself in the forest. He approved of how well Lizina had been taking care of his little cats. However, each time he visited, he noticed that she looked a little sadder. What's the matter, my child? he asked at last. I am very happy here, she said, but I miss my family even though they were so unkind to me. Then you must go to see them, said the big cat but first you must be rewarded for your kindness to my children. He took her down into the basement of the big house, where there were two great barrels, one containing oil, and the other a liquid that shone like gold. In which one of these shall I dip you? asked the big cat. In the oil, said Lazina. No, you deserve better than that, said the old cat, and instead dipped her in the liquid gold. When Lazina came out of the barrel, she shone from head to foot. Her dress had changed to golden silk, her pockets were full of gold coins, and she was more beautiful than ever. A stunning golden star appeared on her forehead like a crown. She gave the old cat a big hug and set out for home. When she arrived there, her mother and sister uttered cries of admiration and astonishment, especially when she gave them a handful of the coins from her dress pocket. For a few days, the mother and the two daughters lived happily together, but then Pepina started to return to her old ways. The gold coins from Lizina's pockets were never-ending, and because of this and her great beauty, Pepina was very jealous. I will go and see what I can get out of the cats, she said to herself. They will surely give me even more gold and even finer clothes. The cat colony had not yet taken another servant because they missed Lizina so much, and so they were happy to see Pepina. Since she is the sister of the one we love, she must be like her, they said, and they hired her immediately. Unfortunately for the cats, Pepina was nothing like her sister. She shut the doors on their tails and chased them from the kitchen counters with a rolling pin. She was also terrible at cooking and cleaning. Soon the house was covered with cat fur and spiderwebs, and the cats were hungry and thirsty because she forgot to fill their food and water bowls. She would kick out at the cats with her big wooden clogs when she felt irritated with them, and some of them had bruises from her heavy feet. The cats went to the wisest and oldest cat, 
and begged him to send Pepina away. We thought she would be like her sister, they said, but she's horrible. All right, said the old cat. You go and get Lazina from her home, and I will take care of Pepina. The old wise cat took Pepina down to the basement, as he had taken Lazina, and asked her to choose between the barrel of oil and the barrel of liquid gold. The gold, of course, said Pepina immediately. You do not deserve it, said the old cat, and he seized her with his big paws and dipped her in the oil instead. When she came out, she was greasy and dirty. Now go home, said the old cat, and never come back. Pepina went home furious, determined to punish Lazina and treat her even worse from now on, but she was too late. The cats had already reached Lazina and brought her back to their house, where she took great care of them again and lived like a princess. She was so much like a princess, in fact, and so kind and beautiful, that the prince of that land chose to marry her, much to her sister's disgust. And all the cats were guests at the wedding. The End Thank you for listening to my story. If you would like to hear more, subscribe and click the little bell notification so you know when a new story comes out. If you would like to buy one of my books, you can go to Amazon.com and search for Andrea Eames, or you can go to my website at www.andreaeames.com. Thank you.